Hello, it's Corey. Join me if you're around. So I just finished an hour and a half meeting with a gentleman who has been in business successfully for 50 years. Incredible success, multiple, multiple multi-million dollar businesses. And he's starting another one right now in the 70s. So I wanted to share with you all some of the nuggets of gold that I learned from this amazing man. So jump on, say hello, let me know you're there. And also give me your thoughts on what you think about his tools for success. So I asked him after we've been talking, he'd been sharing with me all the businesses he's started and run. He also shared with me that in his somewhat extended family with sisters and brothers and their family and cousins that there are 24 of them and eight of them are multimillionaires. And I said, you know, what is it? What is it about your family? What is it about you? What would you say is the key to your success that he's had 50 years in business and sold one business for 4 million after the business was making a million in net revenue a year. And he said, and now I could, like I mentioned, he's in the seventies and is starting a new business that will easily be a multi-million dollar business within a year or two. So he said he always believed he could. So even when people told him, you're crazy, I can't believe you're doing that, he thought, why not? And so he always believed he would be successful. There was never a doubt in his mind. And all the ventures that he took on, he was successful, except for one, which he shared with me in that led to his second key to success is always make sure you have control. So the one business where he wasn't successful, he didn't have full control of the business. And so he wasn't able to ensure his success completely because he didn't have control of everything. The third thing he mentioned was always have a positive attitude, always believe even when things aren't quite working the way you want, maintain that attitude if it's gonna work out and always maintain the attitude of why not? Why, why, is, why wouldn't this work? And then the fourth key, gold nugget, is to have fun. And he said, you know, I think both of his kids are multimillionaires as well. And I said, you know, what is it about you that they saw that helped them to be so successful? And he said, they saw me having fun. They always saw me having fun. He's traveled all over the world, been to 100 countries, been to every state. And he always ensured that whatever he was doing, whatever business he was running, he was always having fun. And that is contagious. And the other thing, kind of piggybacking on having fun, is that he's so well connected. He knows everyone, he talks to everyone, he has amazing connections with people, and not just business connections, it's personal relationships with people that are in places that are beneficial for his business, but he actually knows them on a personal level. And so really getting to know people, getting to know their stories and what they're about and what drives them and maybe what they're struggling with and what are they afraid of and just being present with people is huge because you learn so much. I mean, what a gift that I got to spend an hour and a half with this man that I would have not have been open to if I hadn't put myself out there and gone to some different meetings and opted to put myself in front of a of his group and actually do a presentation for his group and so it was me stepping up and putting myself out there led me to meet this incredible person who's now a part of my life and who will serve as kind of a kind of a mentor to me and, and we'll be in each other's sphere for sure so to recap if you are struggling with success in some area of your life check your attitude first check your belief system do you 100% believe no matter what you will be successful no matter what anyone says and no matter how much negativity you're hearing from other people and will you commit to your dream and to yourself no matter what so never giving up never giving up on yourself and never giving up on your dream and having fun making sure it's fun all that you do and all that you are involved in that it's bringing you joy and bringing you energy and that you're sharing that energy by connecting with other people and sharing your story and your business and whatever it is that you're about is that people know you on a personal level and that you're building those relationships that are meaningful. Okay, friends, would love to hear your feedback on these super secret, not super secrets, they're not secrets. Everyone knows this, but do you actually implement it? That's the key. So it's one thing to know you, you need to believe in yourself and you need to 
have fun, you need to be positive and to never give up, but do you actually walk the walk? Are you willing to stay in the game? Are you willing to make sure your heart's in it, your body's in it, your spirit's in it? Are you willing to allow yourself to be seen and for people to know you? And are you willing to make sure that throughout the whole process you still have control? Which you always do, but thinking about not only just control of your business, but maintaining and holding on to the, the real truth that you have control of your energetic state, your emotional state, and your well-being, and your success. It's all up to you. So now it's up to you to do something with it. All right. Talk to you soon.